Today's video is another journal with me and I'm starting out by printing some pictures on my Instax mini link. So this is a really cool little photo printer that I'm really enjoying at the moment. Basically you can print any picture from your phone and you can print it onto Instax film so it looks like you've taken the pictures on an Instax camera. I really like the way that these photos look and I really like how they look in my journal so I've been using this a ton in my new journal. I think so far almost all the photos or all the photos are printed on this printer. I really like the vibe that they have. So I printed out three for this spread and today's page I just want to document a couple of little walks around our town. We live in a really pretty little coastal town and so I've got some nice pictures of the ocean and I want to document the sea creatures that we saw and just the walks that we had and the things that we saw. So I'm going through this children's dictionary and I'm pulling out any pictures that can help me to tell the story. So I pulled out a picture of a boat and I also pulled out these sharks. So this old dictionary is really cool. It's got illustrations with each word and I really like how these vintage illustrations look in my journal. So here's an up close picture of the boat that I'm going to team with one of my photos and then the sharks which I'm going to also include on the page. So first of all taking my photos and I'm just kind of working out the layout of the page. I'm just trying to work out the best way to fit everything in and to leave myself room for some written journaling and maybe some painting as well. So I'm starting out with those larger dictionary meanings and I'm just trying to work them into the page and it's kind of tricky because they're a little bit longer than the pages in my journal so they're quite large some of these meanings and so I'm trying to work out a way that I can include them where they're not overpowering and taking up the whole page because I still want to I want to be able to use them to decorate the page but I I need to leave myself enough room to make the page my own so I decided to stick the little boat image on one side of the page I just tore off the excess and then I decided to put the shark up the top on the other side of the page, on the opposite page. And before I stuck that shark down, I also glued some lined paper and I had this little piece of blue lined paper, which I thought would be perfect for this like ocean inspired spread. And then before I stuck down that shark meaning, I also pulled out a bit of washi tape, this lovely wide washi tape in this blue color. And I put this over the side of the page because there was just a slight gap left over from where the lined paper was. And I didn't do a perfect job of this. You can see the tape's wonky, but it's completely fine. I just folded it over the edge of the page and then I cut off the excess tape. Once that was done, I'm just working that shark image into the page as well. So as I said, I'm attaching that along the top I attached each of these little Polaroid photos with double sided tape and you can see I just kind of worked them around the edge of the page. So I put the picture of the pirate ship on the left side of the page and then the other two photos on the right, just overlapping that washi tape. So I pulled out my gouache paint palette set and you can see all the beautiful colours in the set. I always have so much fun painting with these colours. Got some water, got some paint brushes, and I'm going to try and paint a scene from our walk. So here I'm showing you on my phone this little scene. It's probably not even the prettiest, it's not the prettiest place, um, but it is really pretty. I did, when we walked past it, I thought this would be a fun little scene to paint. You can kind of see in the background 
where the greenery is it was like covered in flowers which were probably weeds but it looked really pretty by the water and I just thought it would be a pretty simple little scene to paint so I'm going in with my gouache paints in this little area on the top left here on the page and I'm starting out just blocking in the colors so I started out with the sand bank and I did go in with my pencil first really really lightly just to kind of divide up the spaces and to give myself a slight guide for where uh, the painting would be. So starting out with the sandbank and then I'm going in with some green and I'm just painting in that hill in the background. So I'm just kind of blocking in those colors. If you watch my other videos and you've been watching my other Jenna with me videos, you would know that I'm trying to incorporate more art and painting and drawing into my journaling spreads. And so I'm really, really enjoying this process. And sometimes when I finish painting I feel super happy with how it turned out and other times I'm I'm like just okay with it but it doesn't matter because of how much fun I'm having and this particular painting is one where I don't feel like super proud of it or anything I don't think it looks amazing but I think it helps to capture the memory and for me it helps to um, to represent what we saw on our walk and just and it just helps to tie the memories together in a different way I think the main thing I like about this particular painting is how the colors reflect the colors that are in the photos and so all the colors I just I just feel like the colors in the paints they bring the page to life and I love how much personality you can put into a page by painting and by drawing so even though I'm not like super proud of how the painting turned out that's not the point of painting so if you're thinking about adding painting and drawing into your journal I really do recommend it even if you don't consider yourself to be good at it or if you think that you don't have the right abilities to be able to do that it's about the process and it's fun just to play around and to kind of try and put the way that you see things down into a page it's a really nice way to just yeah add so much more personality to your page and just to be able to tell your stories in a different way. Definitely recommend adding little drawings, or paintings, little sketches of what you see in your day-to-day -day life in your journals. So once I blocked in all the colors, I went in and I added some extra little details. Not super, not super detailed, this picture is very loose, but I added in the rocks all around the sand, a little bit in the water. I painted in the path and some extra depth to the green, the green hill. And I also painted in a really light blue sky. Even though if you look at the picture, the sky is very, very blue. I just felt like that wouldn't look right in my picture so I did a light blue sky and now I'm trying to add some like little ripples to the water water is something that I need to practice painting for sure I'm not very good at painting water it's a really really hard thing for me to paint so I just went in and added some like little ripply lines and you can see again if you compare my drawing to the photo beside it it looks very different really the water is like a different color, but I thought that if I tried to add like those green and gray color tones into the water with my current painting abilities for water, it just wouldn't look, it probably wouldn't look like water. So I just kept it standard blue. And again, I think those colors look really nice and vibrant and they reflect the colors in the photo, which helps me to kind of tell the story. So just added some little details into the greenery, the hillside, and then I wanted to add some clouds. And again, there's no clouds in the photo reference that's beside the picture, but I wanted to add those in just to make it look more like a sky. And then whilst that picture was drying, I went in with my pen. This is a Pentel Energel pen. I use this pen for my writing in my journal and today I'm also using it to do some doodles and so I'm just doodling this like seaweed kind of vine along the top 
of the page here where I'm going to write. So I thought that I would draw like a seaweed border around on this lined paper just to help elevate it because even though it looked nice as it was, I just felt like it adds extra, again, it adds extra personality, more interest to the page. And I'm trying to encourage myself to incorporate more of my own art and personality through drawing. So talking about this a lot lately, but this is how I am kind of challenging myself at the moment by trying something different. And I really like how this turned out. I really like how this little piece looks on the page. Once I finished with that little seaweed border, I just went in with some colored pencils over the top of my drawing. So just adding a little bit more texture and like looseness and also it kind of refines it as well. So it's just extra texture to the picture, just helps me to kind of like map out these little rock shapes as well and help them to stand out, add some highlights and some shadows into the picture. And I think in the end, it ends up looking okay. Like I said, I'm not super proud of it, but I think when you team it up with everything else that's on the page, it's a really nice thing to add to your journal. I feel like for me right now, the goals that I'm setting for myself, I'm, I feel like previously or recently, I have, I've had all these goals and things that I like and things that I want to try in my mind. And, and I, I appreciate those things and I've been inspired by those things, but I haven't taken the actual action to implement them into my own life. And so right now I'm just trying to actually implement changes and take action to reach those goals and to try those things. So that's what I'm doing right now. And one of those things is drawing and it is painting and it is more art practice. And so, and so that's where I'm at right now, but it also is in other areas of my life too. So, so if you actually check out one of my recent videos where I shared some ideas for your first journal pages, one of the pages or some of the page ideas were like ins and outs for the year. And I also did like a glow up page and stuff. So these things are kind of like goal setting and reflecting on your life and looking at where you are now and where you want to be and then breaking it down into small steps and so that's where I'm at right now personally and that's what I'm trying to incorporate into every aspect of my life and you guys are just seeing the journaling aspect of that so with my journal trying to push myself to do different things and to actually practice to get to where I want to be and so that's what you see me doing. And so I hope you're enjoying the journey of seeing me approach my journal pages a little bit differently. Once I finished with the little drawing, I'm going in with my Pentel pen and I'm doing my written journaling. And I purposely wrote really, really tiny on this page because I didn't leave myself that much space to write on. So I didn't want to have to go to the next page and continue writing. I wanted to keep it all contained in these two pages. So I'm writing like more than twice as small as what I usually usually would write and you can see that there on the right I like how this page turned out and how everything fit together I did think about adding some stickers at this point but I just felt like the page was complete so I decided not to I decided to leave it nice and simple and yeah I'm really really happy with how it turned out I like the simplicity I like how everything complements I like the colors on the page and I am finding that by adding more of this art and painting and looseness to my journaling that as I'm flicking through my journal now I'm more inspired and I feel happier looking at the pages like I'm really really enjoying my journal I'm enjoying looking at the finished pages I'm also enjoying creating the pages so much more so I just feel like I'm kind of leaning more into my own current 
styles and tastes and I'm really really enjoying it. So I hope you guys also enjoyed this journal with me video. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you again soon in my next video.